everybody, welcome to GeoGuessr. We have the Strangelands crew here with Alzareth. Hello. Matt in the hat. Hello. The Pastafarian. Greetings. Talkus. Rejoice. And we have a guest star, uh, Philip J. Fry. Yo. How's everybody doing today? Well, splendid. Alive and well. Caffeinated. Let's start with last week's champion. That would be user Demfreckelzo from the GeoGuessr subreddit. He had a score of 21,227. Highest score of last week, weekly champion. Congrats, sir. Congratulations. Congrats. Congratulations. If you guys would like to participate this week, the seed will be in the description below. Click on it, play along with us, and then share your thoughts either in the comments or in the um, GeoGuessr subreddit. We'd like to see how you did. Is everybody ready? No. Yep. Ready. Not oh. ready. We um, want... We I want... think my mumble might be crashing. Uh-oh. No. Well that, well, that irons out. I'll talk about themes that we want for Friday's GeoSetter challenges. We are looking for a themed challenge um, for International Talk Like a Pirate Day, which is September 19th. If you guys can, can submit a challenge, a pirate-themed challenge, we would appreciate it. So we can play that um, this coming weekend. Uh, get Our... that in quickly because we don't have a lot of time. And secondly, we are looking for Halloween-themed uh, challenges for the month of October. So head over to geocenter.com, do Halloween theme, and I don't know what Halloween theme would be, but something like the Amityville Horror House or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, do a Catch Halloween a Transylvania. Theme. Transylvania would be perfect, exactly. So that type of thing. We want some Halloween-themed... We're only going to pick four of them, but... um. We'd like you guys uh, to submit as many as you can uh, so we have enough for the month of October. Anyways, how's your mumble out? It's back up and running. All right, is everybody ready? Yep. Yep. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. All right, how's everybody doing today? We are in the middle of nowhere, third world country. That looks like um, Spanish. So let's go with Mexico first off. Um, we got yellow flags. We got red flags. Maybe I can get out to the street from here. Hmm. Whoa. That's a dead end. Or no, it's not a dead end. Um, this is a dead end. I have no idea where we're at. Central America is my guess. Maybe Brazil. I don't know. Central America is probably the best guess. There's a goat. And there's graffiti. That isn't helping me. Aha! This should get me something here. Dr. Hermogenes Vamos... Dr. Elton, this has got to be Mexico. Come on, I need a Mexican flag somewhere, guys. Got 40 seconds left. What's this? Restaurante! I don't see a domain name, but it looks Spanish to me. How about over here? Domain name? If there is one, it's too small to read over here. Most likely Mexico, though. All right. Okay. Good. There's a there's a nice long street with 15 seconds left. Anything? Bueller. Oh boy. Let's go um, Monterey. Oh man. All right. Time's up. Yeah. Not amazing. Oh. Absolutely. No. Yeah, so I'm guessing everybody probably assumed that it was Spanish and in Central America or Mexico. That did not look yep. Portuguese to me. I could not find any evidence of Portuguese. So I totally got screwed. Guess Mexico on 34 points. What'd you do, Al? Well, I thought it was Portugal because of the uh, post, and I was like, this is too arid for that. I finally came across some palm trees at the very end, and I was like, better move it over to Central America. I dropped it in Mexico, and that was a mistake. 54 points. <laughs> Matt? Uh, same reasoning, Mexico, 31 points. Um, pasta. 
Same reasoning, Mexico, 32 points. Oh, damn. We, I guess by Monterey, you probably all guessed near me then. One person guessed something else. Uh, Talkus? Same reasoning, Mexico, 27 points. And Philip, how'd you do? Uh, bad. Just, just bad. South America, or South Africa, rather, somewhere. Yeah, Botswana, <laughs> right? That's the one. I see your blue spot. You got more points than most of us, so hooray for that. How many points did you get? I don't know. I thought we were going through the whole thing. Uh, so I no, can't see 47 it. points, uh, it says on my end. Ah, okay. There you that's go. That's crazy. So I, I got 54, so I'm like ahead. <laughs> did you seriously <laughs> win with 54 points? Yes. Yep. <laughs> that's outrageous. Let's go ahead and continue forward. All right, round he's two. He's already playing. Three, two, one, go. All right. So we've got trees. And it looks like some coniferous trees, so we're we're up. This is looking like Sweden. Um it sure does look like Sweden. So um Nykoping, Navrikvarn. Let's look for those. Let's get one in here. Alright. Nykoping. Oh, there's another one there. Let's see what that is. And it's blurred out. And Ensta Deriga. Alright. Nykopin. Let's see here. Everybody's gonna guess Sweden. I'm sure everybody's gonna see these signs. So being able to find the specific cities would be a huge boost. I got a minute left. Would be a huge boost to me here. Otherwise, we're all probably going to get fairly similar scores. I don't see Nykoping. Um, I don't think that's Finnish. I'm pretty sure that's Swedish. Nykoping. I got. I got nothing. Let's go. Let's go back to the south. All right. Falkenberg, Varberg, Uppenberg. <sighs> These have got to be small towns. I'm afraid if I spend time driving, it's going to be wasted. There's Linkoping. So that's pretty darn close. Oh, man. I don't see Nykoping, but I see Linkoping. Ten seconds. Yeah, we're all going to get the same score. If somebody's lucky enough to find the city, they'll do okay. All right, so if you turn to a certain direction uh, down the road, you'll see all those um, street signs, and it looks like Swedish. I couldn't find the cities, though. I found Linkoping, but not Nykoping. Um, so I guessed by Linkoping, and um, I've got 40, uh, 4,760. What'd you do, Al? I originally had mine down there because I saw a lot of pings near each other. I saw the same signs. I ended up, just because I saw it there, I ended up guessing in close to Denmark, Sweden, just because I thought it was funny. I got 4,596, but I knew it was Sweden, Norway, because the markings on the road. Matt? I need more experience playing this game. No, I put it in, I put it in the uh, Netherlands, 2749. Uh, pasta? Um, I found Nykoping, and on the last second, I found Nevekvarn, so, uh, the sign in the other direction. I got 4963. Nice. Falkus? I forgot how to tell the difference between Norwegian and Swedish, and therefore guessed Southern Norway and got 3,703 points. Pasta, or I'm sorry, Philip? I didn't know we could Google and cheat. So I uh, I shot it in Hungary. <laughs> you can't Google and cheat. No Googling. Well, then you're good. I guess Hungary anyway, then. <laughs> How many points was that? I don't know. Not too many. Uh, 2,179. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, I've got a total <laughs> point, so yeah, not much good. All right, you guys it's ready not for... that bad. You guys ready for round three? Yeah. Indeed. You're ready. Three, two, one, go. All right, so I did okay. Um, pasta's ahead of me. But um, I'm ahead of the other guys, so I'm pretty good with that. Where is the sun at? The sun is a bit to the east. That's not going to help me figure out where I'm at. Where I'm at. But I'm I'm guessing right now, 
Prob... I don't know, man. I was going to guess South Africa, but I'm not so sure. These bushes here, I, I would not... It's not South Africa. I have no idea where this is. They're driving on the right side of the road, so it's not South Africa. These bushes didn't look South African anyways, and, and it didn't look Australian either. So, I'm guessing... I'm guessing... Maybe America. I don't know what kind of sign that is. I don't know. That sign didn't look American. Let's drop it in Europe just for shits and giggles. And see if I can run into a sign. we got 57 seconds. Any kind of sign whatsoever. Is this one coming up? No, it is not. Okay. Maybe I can get some information off this truck. Okay, it's a Volkswagen, which doesn't help, because Volkswagen is pretty much everywhere. I can't read that. At all. Um, oh, there's a truck up here, too. Wait a minute, were those guys passing? No, they're driving on the right. Alright, I'm going with America. Screw it, right in the middle of the states. I don't know, man. This is BS. I think we all probably... Well, most of us got screwed. Pasta seemed to do <laughs> okay. Oh, um, oh I, I, I thought I loading. made that guess. Okay, um, yeah. Um, Alright, no. so... I don't know. I traveled pretty darn far down the road. I couldn't find any signs whatsoever. It wasn't South Africa and it wasn't Australia because they're driving on the right side of the road. Somebody um, did it as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the sun The sun didn't help because it was to the east, so it didn't really tell you which hemisphere it was in. Um, I guessed Middle America and got 33 points. How'd you do, Al? I don't know. It crashed. Oh, that sucks. Uh... Well, go ahead and start uh, and try to get your guesses uh, as close as possible, and you can join us in the next round. Okay. Um, how about you, Matt? I uh, I could tell the, the sun was a little to the north, but um, North Australia is zero points. Ouch. You didn't see any cars? No. I saw a couple, but we're driving on both sides of the road. Yeah, and at that point, you can't. You just keep up with yeah. them. You don't know which way they're going. Yep. Um, Pasta. So I saw two lorries going on the right side of the road. Um, the lorries weren't European style, and I saw a sign right at the beginning on a fence with Casau or Casa something. The C had the little hook um, below it, so I guess it was Portuguese and just plucked it down somewhere in Brazil and tried to figure out something more going down the road. Um, got 32, 37 points. I mean, I did not see that sign. It was a, a little bit at the beginning, but it depends in which uh, direction you went. Yeah, I definitely went into wilderness. Uh, yeah, you... it was a lot of wilderness, but I am 666.6 kilometers away. Oh, there's a devil in you, the noodly appendage of the devil. Yeah, Toka says that uh, for a long time now, so there's evidence now. The adversary. How'd you do, Toka? I guessed Australia and got zero points. Oh, you didn't see any cars either? I, I saw cars, but I did not think to look at the direction. Um, and there were a few probably... street signs as well. You, well, I, I, like, they're, like, they're like writing on the trucks. And I was like, I don't know what language this is. But like, I, I wasn't sure if it was like South Africa, Southwest United States, or Australia. I was just, I was, like the cars weren't American. I don't even know. How'd you do, Philip? I went Australia too. Zero points. Ouch. Yay. <laughs> Did it, you catch I, up? I caught yeah. up? Yeah. You caught up with us, Al? 4631. Good enough. All right. And I have video evidence that I guessed there. I guessed in eastern Brazil. Oh, uh, what, what made you choose Brazil? Because that map, whenever you were going down the road, there was a map on the right hand side of the road, and there was a highlighted section on that map. So I guessed in that highlighted section. I did not see oh, that. Oh, I didn't see that as well. Nice. You guessed, you guessed kind of in it. You guessed on the western part of it. Yeah, I guessed uh, somewhere. I think the state is Tocantins? Yeah, it was. Tocantins. The highlighted spot was state of Tocantins, state of Bahia, and state of Minas Gerais, or how it is. 
Garrus. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was that section. All right, is everybody ready for the next round? Indeed. Yeah, I'm to make sure I'm actually recording the right screen. <laughs> it's not. There we go. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Three, two, one, go. All right, so pause the pull ahead. He's probably got this one locked. Oh, there's some beautiful mountains here. We're on some kind of trail. Oh, joy. Oh, well, it's partially a trail. Oh, boy. All right, so where is the sun at? All right, the sun is to the east, but it's it's pretty... It's to the south a little bit, but not a whole lot, so that may not help us. Either way, I, I, I'm, I was thinking northern hemisphere anyways. Um, what do we got here? All right, so this looks like firewood. So this is probably an area that it, that gets cold. And this could be um, uh, this could be Scotland. Got a little over a minute left. Let's get a prelim guess over in Scotland. I'm gonna need a little more info though. I, I'm not comfortable with that. This could be. Oh, did I? No, I didn't screw up. Okay, good. There's some more buildings. All right. Any kind of flag? Oh, no. This is not helping. That looks like um, that looks like a, a U.S. plate, though. But this does not look U.S. Garbage here that will help me out. No. Oh, good signs. I can't read that. It says Monty. It says Monty something. Shoot, shoot. This is Spain. Does Spain have mountains like this? Oh my God! If this is Brazil, I'm gonna shit myself. I'm totally screwed. Here we are. All right. Well, that didn't go as horribly as the others. Um, again, didn't see a whole lot of info there. The sun was to the east and maybe a little to the south, so I wasn't completely trusting of it. Um, I came across a place that had firewood, and I figured, okay, so it must get cold in the winter. And eventually I ran into a sign, but it, I didn't recognize any of the words. It was in another language. I thought it was Spanish. So I guess Spain, and apparently it was Italy, but uh, I got 2,095. How'd you do, Al? I got 3,565, I guessed, in Switzerland, and I was horribly singing on my perspective. Because <laughs> for some reason <laughs> oh, it made me think wow. of The Sound of Music, and I don't know why. The hills were alive. With The Sound of Music, that's the exact song I sang. <laughs> uh, Matt? So the architecture felt kind of old Italian to me, and I placed it up in northern Italy because I wasn't sure where they had mountain ranges in Italy. Um, I ended up seeing a sign that said Atencia with a Z. So I knew I was in the right country, I guess, but 4,071. Nice. Uh, Pasa? I guessed Italy as well because the housing seemed very Mediterranean to me, very Italian, and uh, the north, uh, north parts of Italy are very hilly, so I guessed there as well and got 3,972 points. Tacus? So yeah, there's uh, there are mountains all the way through Italy, like it's a very uh, mountainous, hilly sort of region. Ah. So yeah, it, unlike obviously the, the Alps are big mountains, but there are smaller mountains all all through the peninsula. Yeah, guess... none of these had uh, snow on top, so well. Well, but yeah, I, I thought it. Well, again, I, I've been to Italy. And I thought yep. it looked like Italy, and I, I didn't like really see any houses much or anything. I just thought it looked like Italy, so I guessed Italy and got 4,479 points. Nice. How'd you do, Phil? Very nice. I got the right continent, wrong country. I took a shot in the Netherlands. Um, just as a quick info, the Netherlands don't have any bigger hills. None. Noted. <laughs> really, none. Uh, the whole country is a few meters below sea level. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, be that's why they so are like called the, the Nederlands, <laughs> which means um, the lower lands. Don't they have like a massive dam to prevent flooding over there? Yes, they have, and they buy their stones from Germany. That that thing is crazy, man. It is gigantic. Yep, it is. That's pretty cool. Anyways, everybody ready for, I think this is the last round, right? 
Yep. 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 Three, two, one, go. All right, so I'm pretty much out of it. This is going to go to to pasta. Matt Matt might have a chance. All right, so we're we're back in in mountains here. And again, I'm not sure. Okay, there's a sign. This will help me out. D Sigliano. That sounds like Italian. Are we back in Italy? That would be crazy. Uh oh. Yeah, that sounds like Italian, man. Not that I would know. I don't know any Italian. But I think that first word, D-I-D, -D, isn't that Italian? I, I think it is. Look at this. It's like we're in the same spot. That is crazy. All right. Ooh, a highway. Oh, this would be fantastic if I can get a highway off this. Oh, man. It doesn't connect to the highway, and I gotta sneeze. All right. So I don't. I think these are the mountains that Tuckus was talking about that go through the middle of of the, the country, and and Sigland, Sigl Sigland. All right. Let's 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 go with that. Um, I think these are the mountains that go through the middle because they're not snow capped. I think they're colder when it's up by Switzerland because they're larger. I think I don't know all right here we go this that's that's in the north though it's not exactly a big country Santo Bologna Florence I think that says Sigland I don't know. I'm I'm guessing Middle Italy, and everybody else is going to guess Middle Italy too as well. So I don't think I'm going to gain any ground. Pasta's probably got this one locked up. All right, here's the time. Andre has not guessed yet. Well, how about that? I mean, that is not very far at all from from the previous yep. one. No. I was pretty surprised. Yeah, it's it's like I'm like oh, those 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 mountains look pretty similar, and even the houses were were the same. Um, unfortunately, I, I got to a road and I found, um, let me see if that city is in there. Uh, Tisano? Yep, Sigliano. Sigliano. Yep. I was looking for that. And I was that looking for well. SP48. Uh, personally. if you went further down the road, there was a sign saying Tisano. Didn't fa uh, find that town either, but, uh... It's yeah. really small. You'd have to zoom in real, real close to see that Sigliano. Okay, Sigliano, yes, but I, I am looking for Tisano. Or it might be something completely different. Either way, I, I guessed in the middle of Italy and got 4826. How'd you do, Al? 4014, because I actually guessed down by Naples, because that's where I first found the SP roads. Because you have to zoom all the way in to see them. Matt? I put it north of Florence and got 4675. Pasta? Um, I put it somewhere in the middle of Italy, 4471. Um, Italy, because I saw the car at the beginning had Carabinieri written on it, which is uh, the Italian police. I think the state police. Anyways, it, it was Italian. Talk us. Uh, 4,710 points. And Philip. I thought there's no way they'd be two Italians in a row, so I shot Colorado. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, well. Generally, there wouldn't be. It, it's, it's not terribly common for that to happen. Yeah, it took a shot. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's true random, so like... All things that are true random, you know, it could happen it two did. times in a row, but there's no reason for it not to have times in a row. Right. Like, like it was just as likely to be Colorado as, it how, as Italy. All right. So, I got a score of 11,748. How'd you do, Al? I got 16,831. Oh, wow. Matt. Give or take. 11,526. Uh, pasta. Just a little bit below Elzaraf, 16,675. Tarkis. 12,919. And Philip. Bring it up the rear with 4,600. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Not last. <laughs> oh, well. We've had lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks like Al's our weekly champion. Congrats. Barely. Give or take 100 points, and it might put pasta above me. How much did you have, pasta? Um, 675 at the end. Ah, okay. It'll be close. Yeah, I, I'll yep. have to look at the original points and add that up and see for sure, but... 
Well, the the subreddit has been consistently uh, getting over twenty thousand. Yeah, so I think yeah. unless one of us gets over twenty thousand, we're pretty doomed. And as far as I'm concerned, Al is the winner now. So yeah. Well done, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Indeed. Yay. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you participated, put your score in the comments below or over in the GeoGuessr subreddit. We'd like to see how you did. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.